Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dwebrun.com and in this video, we'll show you how to fix the issue of touch not working after flashing a custom ROM on the OnePlus 7 series phone. So for the sake of reference, I have flashed the Evolution X ROM onto my OnePlus 70 and the OnePlus 70 Pro. But as you could see currently, the touch is no, not working on my phone. If I tap on the get started or the downward arrow key or the emergency call, none of the screen is currently working. So this could happen with any custom ROM and across any OnePlus phone. So for the sake of reference, I'm using the Evolution X ROM based on Android 13 onto OnePlus 70 and I'll show you how to fix the issue of touch not working. So if possible, please take a backup of all the data on your phone and then let's get started. First and foremost, you have to install the Android SDK platform tools. This is the official ADB binary given by Google and is required to execute ADB command. So download from the link given in my guide and extract them onto your PC. You could extract them anywhere you want. I have done the extraction in eDrive. Once that is done, next step you have to skip the USB debugging because you cannot do so. Likewise, you cannot unlock the bootloader. It might already be the case. Next up, download the custom ROM and all the linked file as well. So as you could see, apart from the custom ROM, you will need the recovery file. And if the ROM has a VB meta as well, then you might need a VB meta file as well. It completely depends on the type of ROM. In most ROM, you might you must only have a ROM file and the recovery file. In some ROM, you might have a VB meta as well. So currently, I'm using an Evolution X. And in my case, I have a ROM, a recovery, and a VB meta file. So make sure to transfer all these files inside the platform folder on your PC. So as you could see, this is the ROM zip file. This is the recovery IMG file. And this is the vpmeta.img file. So once you have placed all these three files inside the platform tool folder, let's now proceed to the next step. So next step, you now have to boot your phone to fast boot mode. But since we cannot enable USB debugging, so we cannot execute any ADB or fast boot command. So we will have to take the help of hardware key combination to boot our phone to fast boot mode. For that, you will have to first and foremost make sure to unplug your phone from the PC. Once that is done, now press and hold the power and volume up keys for a few seconds. So just to repeat, is the volume up key and the power key. So press and hold both these keys for around 15 to 20 seconds. And once that happens, your phone will then subsequently power off. So let's just keep on pressing both these keys. So as you could see, our phone is now powered off. Please do not connect your phone to the PC by USB cable as of now. What you have to do instead is press and hold the power, volume up and volume down all the three keys this time so press and hold volume up volume down and power keys for around five to six seconds and as you could see your phone will now go to the fast boot mode now you will have to connect your phone to the pc via usb cable make sure to use the usb 2.0 port on your pc and the official usb cable that came with your phone so just to repeat first off you have to use the power and volume up key for around 10 to 15 seconds and this will power off your phone then you have to use the power, volume up and volume down key and press all the three keys for around 5 to 6 seconds and your phone will then go to fast boot mode. Once it's in the fast boot mode, go to platform tool folder, type in CMD in the address bar and hit enter. This will launch the command prompt window inside platform tool folder. Now type in fast boot devices and hit enter and make sure you're getting a serial ID. If you're not getting any ID, then please install the fast boot drivers. I've given the link for that in the description. You could refer to my guide and please make sure to install the fastboot drivers. Once you have installed the fastboot drivers, you could also refer to my guide over here as I have shown you. I have made a guide and a video. So refer to this guide and install the fastboot drivers. Once you have installed the fastboot drivers and you are getting a serial ID over here, likewise your phone is now in the fastboot mode and connected to PC. Moreover, the all the, the ROM file and its associated files, which in my case is the recovery and VB meta. So make sure that all such files are there inside the platform tool folder on your PC. Once that is done, first and foremost, you have to do a format data. So this will remove all the data from your phone. So make sure you have taken a backup beforehand. Once that is done, type in passport space dash W and hit enter. It will now erase all the data from your phone and the process will take around 10 to 15 seconds at the very max. So let's just wait for the time frame. So as you could see, the it's not finished. So it took around 10 seconds. And with this, the formatting is not done. So once you have done the format, you will now have to flash that ROM once again from the scratch. 
exactly as you flash it in the first time. So in my case, I'm using the evolution X ROM, and for flashing that ROM, first off, I flash the VB meta file. So let me first flash the VB meta file. So let me just execute this command. Once that is done, next up, our ROM requires us to flash the recovery file. So now I'll flash the recovery file as well. So let me now flash the recovery file using the recovery command. So it will take only a few seconds. Make sure that the name of the file is recovery.img and is there inside the platform tool folder. Once we have flashed the recovery, now this ROM requires you to boot your phone to the recovery mode. So just type in fastboot, reboot, recovery and hit enter and your phone should now boot to the custom recovery which we have just flashed. So in our case, it will be Evolution X recovery. This video is being made on the Evolution X ROM. The steps should be near about similar across all the custom ROM, but I am using the Evolution X ROM for the sake of reference. So as you could see, we are now in the Evolution X recovery. So from here, we have to first and foremost do the ADB side load of the custom ROM. So make sure that the name of the file is ROM. It's ROM.zip and it's there inside the platform tool folder. Once that is done, from the custom recovery, select apply update. If the touch is not working, you use the volume key to select apply update and press the power key to confirm. Now again, use the volume key to highlight apply from ADB and press the power key to confirm. With this, your phone is now in the ADB side load mode. Now open CMD window inside platform tool folder and now type in ADB devices and make sure it's been shown as the side load keyword. This signifies your phone is now in the side load mode and you could now side load the custom ROM. So make sure the name of the file is rom.zip and is there inside the platform tool folder. So now you have to type, type in adb side load name of the file which is rom.zip and hit enter. The side loading will now start and you could keep a track of the same from your phone as well as from the CMD window. In the CMD window, the process might get stuck at 47%. It's just a UI bug and nothing to worry about. You could keep a track of the flashing from your phone as well. From the phone, it will first start the step 1 of 2, which will take around 5 minutes. And then it will do step 2 of 2, which will only take a few seconds. So let's just wait for the flashing to complete and then we will proceed ahead. So guys, as you could see, the flashing is now complete. As I have told you before, in the CMD window, the progress might get stuck at 47%. It's just a UI bug and nothing to worry about. You could keep a track of the same from your phone as well. So on my phone, as you could see, the step 1 of 2 and step 2 of 2 is now complete. So once the ADB side load is done, you will now once again have to do a, a format data. Just to record, we have already done a format data in the initial step using the password dash W command. And we will now have to do a, a format data using the custom recovery. So from the recovery, go back. If you cannot select the back, then use the volume key to highlight the back button and press the power key to confirm and now select highlight the factory reset and press the power key to confirm again highlight format data factory reset and press the power key to confirm then highlight format data and press the power key to confirm so as you could see the data wipe is now complete and once that is done you could now again highlight the back button and this time select reboot system now and press the power key to confirm and your phone should now reboot to the newly flashed custom ROM and this time around the touch should be working well and good without any issues. So let's just verify the same. So our phone should now boot to the OS and since we have done a factory reset, the first boot up might take up a few additional seconds. That's completely normal and nothing to worry about. Currently you are seeing the boot animation of the Evolution X ROM. This boot animation might vary depending on the ROM that would currently using that's not a cause of concern just note that the first boot up could take up to three to four minutes from the subsequent time it will not take that much longer so let's just wait for the time frame and once our phone is booted to the os you might have to do one more restart in some cases or in other cases the touch might be start working right away so let's just verify once in most cases the touch should not be working but in rare cases you might have to do one more restart. So let's verify both this process and let me check out the result first. So as I have told you before, it's 
currently loading and since the rom has inbuilt g apps so it would also load the google app packages in the framework and as a result of this it might take a few additional seconds to load that's completely normal and nothing to worry about so let's just wait and as you could see our phone is now booted to the os so let's now test out the rom so let me now tap on get started and as you could see the touch is not is now working well and good i could select all the option and tap on continue and set up the rom without any issues so currently i am not signing into the rom let me skip all these stuffs as well so just to repeat in spite of any custom rom that you are using that's not a cause of concern if the touch is not working so what you have to do in case of oneplus 7 series phone or in case of any oneplus phone first and foremost you have to boot your phone to fast boot mode for booting to fast boot mode you will not be able to use adb or fast boot command because you cannot enable usb debugging so you will have to press and hold the power and volume up key for a few seconds around 10 to 15 seconds this will power off your phone once your phone is powered off you will then have to press and hold the power volume up and volume down key for around 5 seconds and this will then boot your phone to fast boot mode once your phone is booted to fast boot mode you will then have to connect your phone to the pc via usb cable once your phone is connected to pc via usb cable download the android sdk platform tool and transfer the rom file and all the files associated with the rom inside the platform tools folder once that is done you will first off have to do a format data for doing a format data you have to type in password dash space dash w this will remove all the data after that you will then have to flash the rom and all the associated files so in case of evolution x rom for the oneplus 70 series i had to flash the vb meta then i had to flash the recovery file and then after i have have to boot my phone to the recovery mode once i booted my phone to recovery mode i once again have to flash the rom and for flashing the rom this time i had to use the adb side load command once that was done your touch will still not work so you will again have to use the volume keys to highlight the factory reset option and press the power key to confirm once that is done you will then have to again use the volume keys to highlight the reboot system now and press the power key to confirm so after doing a side load of the rom you will once again have to do a factory reset using the hardware key combination and once that is done your phone will now boot to the os the first boot up might take up a few additional seconds but once your phone boot to the os this time around as you could see the touch will work without any issues so guys on that note i round off this video if you have any queries do let me know in the comment section and guys please like this video and subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks thanks a lot for watching